Hi everybody, how are you? This is Arif. I'm actually going over my physics lecture notes today. Uh, but just five minutes ago, I watched a video. It was uh, MIT Integration B Contest 2023. There were amazing integrals and I actually want to solve one of those integrals to you today. Uh, the challenge in the contest was to be able to solve those integrals under four minutes. So each contestant had to solve those under four minutes. I don't know how they do it. I cannot do that. Please write under the comments uh, how, it's, how it's possible to do it. Like solve those under four minutes. I don't know. I, I don't have any ideas. But at least I will solve one of those integrals to you and you will see the solution. It looks hard. It looks long, but it is doable. You will see that. Uh, and we are not going to do any fancy stuff. We will just use simple substitutions. Okay. And let me wrap this up and I'll meet you in a bit. Hi everybody, I am back. So as I promised, this is the integral uh, I would like to solve. Uh, this actually appeared uh, in the MIT Integration B Contest 2023. Uh, it was actually the first question in the finals. Okay, so what does it say? The integral is equal to, from 0 to pi over 2, cube root of tangent x divided by sine x plus cosine x squared dx. Okay. Here we have tangent, sine and cosine functions. So the first step that I would like to do is I'm, I'm going to take this cosine out. So I'll have another tangent here. Okay. So in other words, this is from 0 to pi over 2. I have the cube root of tangent x divided by, this becomes cosine square x okay, inter, uh, and times 1 plus tangent x square dx. But cosine square x is nothing but 1 over cosine square x is equal to secant square x. So now I would like, like to make a u substitution to get rid of this cubic root, right? I don't like the cubic root of tangent function here. So this is something like tangent x, let's say to the power of one third. So I need to pick a u, okay, whose derivative would give me tangent x one third, okay? So if I make u is equal to tangent, four third x, right? Okay. So du will be equal to four third tangent one third x. You see the cubic root times what is the derivative of tangent secant square x. So you see here I have cubic root of tangent x times secant square x. This is great. So this becomes dx. So of course dx here. So instead of this, I can write 3 over 4 du, right? So du over 1 plus, okay. So what is tangent x? So tangent x is u to the power 3 over 4, right? And I have square of that, okay? So the limits are from 0, so when tangent x goes to pi over 2, tangent is infinite, so this is infinity. Good, so we already have a simpler expression, but I have this 3 quarter root, uh, 3 quarter power, okay? So this was good. The next step, the next step, well, instead of u, I will put, let's say, t to the power fourth. Okay. Okay. So it is du here. Four times t cube dt. Okay. So let's move on. So this is nothing but three or four integral. So the limits are going to be the same, zero to infinity. So du is four t cube dt over 1 plus 
u to the 3 over 4 u to the 3 over 4 this, this is nothing but t cube right square this is good so now these fours cancel cancel each other out so we ended up with this integral okay we are in each step we are simplifying it right it actually makes me curious to look for the derivative of 1 over 1 plus t cube okay so what's that so this is actually 1 plus t cube to the power minus 1 so the minus 1 comes in front it's divided by 1 plus t cube square times the derivative of 1 plus t cube which is 3 t square this is good so now so this integral becomes the integral from 0 to infinity t times 3 t square over 1 plus t cube power 2 dt right so this is nothing but minus the derivative of that right so I can simply change it so this is minus d over dt 1 over 1 plus t cube dt okay so I can take this minus out let's put it here okay now we can do integration by parts so you can simply say u is equal to t which is du is equal to dt and d over dt of this term dt is equal to dv so then this tells me v is equal to 1 over 1 plus t cube right okay so now if you do the integration by parts u times v which is uh, t over 1 plus t cube the limits are from 0 to infinity right so I have a minus sign here so this minus is affecting both both terms minus integral from 0 to infinity v times du so this is nothing but dt over 1 plus t cube okay so if you look at the limits here when t goes to infinity this term is 0 when t goes to 0 this is 0 so this is nothing but 0 so all together when I combine them all the integral that I want to calculate is dt over 1 plus t cube from 0 to infinity so in the end the answer to this is nothing but the answer to that okay dt over 1 plus t cube so this is one of the integrals I remember uh, quite vividly because I have recently solved this integral in my channel uh, using the residue theorem. So now we are not going to use residue theorem, uh, but we will use uh, partial fraction decomposition to solve it. In the last board, we showed that our goal integral is equal to this integral so from 0 to infinity dt over 1 plus t cube okay so before we move on I will try to figure out what this 1 over 1 plus t cube is so 1 plus t cube is equal to 1 over 1 plus t times t square minus t plus 1 so we will use partial fraction decomposition so this is equal to a over 1 plus t plus bt plus c over t square minus t plus 1. Okay. So finding a is easy. So on this side, we are going to close 1 plus t term. And wherever we see t, we put minus 1. So if we put minus 1 here, this is 1. Minus minus 1 is 1. This is 1, 1, 1, 1, 3. So a is equal to it's easy to find a so a is equal to one third you already found it so the next step is to find c maybe so let's say when t is equal to zero what do we have on the left hand side we have one over this is one this is one so one must be equal to a over one plus 
So t is zero here, zero, zero, so it's just c. So a is equal to one third, so this is one third. Then c turns out to be one minus one third is two thirds. Okay. In order to find b, let's put t to be one. Okay. So the left hand side becomes this is one minus one is zero, this is one, this is two. So one half is equal to a over two plus b plus c over just one. Okay, so a over two is equal to one over six. So this is three over six. So this becomes just two over six here. It's equal to that. So this is b plus c. So b plus c is equal to two over three. So this is nothing but 4 over 6, right? So 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So minus 2 over 6. So this is minus 1 third. So we found B as minus 1 over 3. Okay. So this integral can be written as, okay, this is what we will do now. 0 to infinity, a over 1 plus t, so 1 third et over 1 plus t, plus the integral from 0 to infinity. So I can take 1 third out maybe here, 1 third. So b is minus t plus c is equal to 2 thirds, 1 third is here, this is 2, divided by t squared minus t plus 1 dt. So in the last part we used uh, partial fraction decomposition and our goal integral turned into this form. Okay? So the first integral here I will just call it i1. i1 is easy to manipulate so this is equal to one third ln 1 plus t. The limits are from 0 to infinity. So the lower limit when t is equal to 0, ln 1 is equal to 0, so it's easy to handle, but I have a divergence here, right? So I'll just keep the divergence as is for the time being, so I'll just call this as limit when r goes to infinity, ln 1 plus r, and I have 1 third here, over 3, right? So I'll just keep it as is. I hope I'll get some other divergences here so that somehow I will have some cancellations when I take this limit. Okay, we will see that later. So let's call this integral i2. So now I would like to work this out, i2. Okay, so look at the denominator. I can complete the squares, right? So t squared minus t plus 1. Hmm. So this is equal to what? That's what I want to find. So let's look at this one. So t minus 1 half square. So this is t square minus t plus 1 fourth, right? So wherever I see t square minus t, I can put t minus 1 half square minus 1 fourth. Okay? So this integral becomes, I2 becomes 1 third integral from 0 to infinity. So I have 2 minus t divided by t minus 1 half square minus 1 fourth plus 1 is plus 3 over 4 dt. Okay, this is good. So now I'll make a substitution. End of a substitution. I'll call u is equal to t minus 1 half. Okay. So when I set uh, u is equal to t minus 1 half, I'll have is equal to 1 third integral from 0 to infinity 2 minus t. So this is 2 minus u plus 1 half. So 2 minus u plus 1 half. So this is u squared plus 3 over 4. So this is du. 
Well, the limits are now different because we have u. So when t is equal to 0, u is equal to minus 1 half. So the upper limit is still infinity. So this is good. So 2 minus 1 half is equal to 3 over 2, right? 3 over 2. So it's minus u. This is good. So now we have actually two integrals here. One, the first one is 3 over 2 times 1 third is 1 half. So I can write this as 1 half integral from minus 1 half to infinity du over u squared plus 3 over 4. Then I have minus 1 third integral integral u over u squared plus 3 over 4 u minus 1 half to infinity. Okay. So the first part is simple to deal with. So this just gives us the arc tangent, right? So note that this is nothing but square root of 3 over 2 square. Okay. So the first integral is 1 half 2 over square root of 3 arc tangent 2 over square root of 3 u. Okay, the limits are from minus 1 half to infinity. Okay, so let's simplify it. When u goes to infinity, arc tangent infinity goes to pi over 2. So this is equal to pi over 2 minus. So when u goes to minus 1 half, arc ten, we, go, we will have arc tangent minus 1 over square root of 3. So what is arc tangent minus 1 over square root of 3, it's nothing but minus pi over 6. Okay, so when we insert that, so you'll have plus, so this is going to be plus here, so you can equate the denominators, so it's going to be 3 pi over 6, so you'll have 4 pi over 6 here. Okay, so 4 pi over 6. You can just put it here, 4 pi over 6, so 1 half cancels this 1 half, so we have 1 over that, so we have 2 pi over 3 here, so if you multiply by square root of 3, okay, you will have 9 here, and square root of 3 here. So this is what we get from this integral. So let's look at the, the other one. Let's look at the other one and see what we will get. So at this point, I'll set u square plus 3 over 4 is equal to alpha. Okay, so then we will have 2u, du will be equal to the alpha. Okay, this is good. So instead of u, du, I can write d alpha over 2, right? This is good. So I'll have minus 1 over 6, okay? d alpha over, I'll have just alpha here. So the limits change. So this is now from 1 to infinity. This is nothing but ln alpha, right? But the limits are from 1 to infinity. I don't need to use an absolute value sign because these are all positive. So ln alpha from 1 to infinity. So the lower limit gives me 0, right? So how about the upper limit? So the upper limit also has a divergence, right? But let me write what alpha is in terms of u. So alpha is u squared plus 3 over 4, but u, u was t minus 1 half. So this is simply equal to t minus 1 half square plus 3 over 4, right? Okay. So I can put r here. Okay, it's very good. 
and then I can put a limit here. Limit R goes to infinity. Okay. So now I have one divergent term here, another divergent term here. And let's try to add them up and see what we will get. So I can use here now. So let's look at what I want, which is limit R goes to infinity. I'll have one third ln one plus R. Then I have minus one over six ln R minus one half square plus three over four, right? Limit R goes to infinity. I can factor out one third here, and I can put the common ln parentheses. So we have one plus R in the numerator, and I have R minus one half square plus three over four. Then I have the square root of this because I have one six here. Okay, so I took one half as the power here, so it becomes the square root of that. So when I take this limit, r goes to infinity, this becomes one third ln, so this is r over r, right? So this becomes like r over r, the limit r goes to infinity ln r over r, but this is nothing but zero. So in the end, when I combine this divergent term and that divergent term, they simply cancel each other out. So in the end, my answer is 2 pi square root 3 over 9. And this is the correct answer. As you see, this was a little bit long, tedious, but I tried to show you all the steps. I don't know how it is solved under 4 minutes. Please write in the comments how you would do it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next videos. Take care. Bye.